I'm here, people. I'm here. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's AJ. So I watched Raw last night, and overall, it was a pretty good show to me. There are a couple of things that I like, and one of the things that I like is the Wyatt family, or excuse me, Bray Wyatt ended up beating the crap out of uh, R-Truth. And I just don't understand how R-Truth still has the same gimmick. I mean, does WWE not realize that this image or gimmick that he has is just stupid? I mean, he does, he's been doing the same dances, the same exact moves for like 10 years now. When he, when he was K-Quick and he debuted, guess what he was doing? The same exact thing that he's doing now. And it's just so annoying to me. Like, does he not get tired of it, of it himself? Because if I was him, I would, you know, I'd be going to the people and be like, hey, I'm tired of this gimmick. You know, give me a new gimmick or something. They should make him heel again because I think that he was better as a heel. And he was heel for uh, like a month before. And I thought it was pretty good. But besides that, another thing that I'm actually liking surprisingly is Ryback. The little segments that he's doing backstage, I, I find them so funny and hilarious because if you think about it, WWE says that they're against bullying and stuff, but at the same time, they have Ryback backstage bullying random people back there, and I just think it's hilarious. The one, the little scene that they had backstage last night was pretty funny to me. He was back there with a guy, and he took the guy's bag and threw it, and he's like, go get it, and then he threw it again and made him go get it, and then he dumped water all, or turned the shower on on the water went all in his bag it was just hilarious to me another thing that's kind of interesting to me right now is the corporation it seems like well I don't, I'm not sure if they're gonna bring back the corporation but it just reminds me of the corporation the way they're acting like if you say anything bad about the McMahon's or Triple H they put you in a three versus one handicap match they did that with uh, Big Show last night and it was just funny to me that they just keep doing stuff like that. And it's really interesting to me. I actually really like it. So I hope they do bring back the corporation. I, I think it would be something that's really cool. Or, you know, something new. They can make a new little faction. That's what it seems like they're going with. Another thing is RVD. It looks like he's going to have a feud with Alberto Del Rio because Ricardo Rodriguez came out and was talking crap to Del Rio. And then he announced RVD. So I guess he's RVD's announcer now. The question I have is, will RVD actually end up getting the title, or is just just another thing where they're just going to push Alberto Del Rio even more? I would like to see RVD get the title, but in a way, I kind of doubt that that's going to happen. But back to the corporation thing. They did, like I said, they made Big Show do with three versus one. Who else did they make a do uh, three versus one? I can't even remember the other match, but it was really good to me. So hopefully the corporation does come back. And they keep being assholes to all the roster who talks crap about them. And Randy Orton's in it, it looks like. Triple H, the McMahons, the Shield, because they all attack uh, Daniel Bryan. It was, just a good, it was just a good show to me last night. But anyways, let me know what you think about it. Make sure to check out my other videos. Subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. The link is in the description. And until next time, peace. Bye.